Hey awesome people of YouTube, welcome to well, another quick guide on uh, Starfield. So some of you may be wondering if it's worth upgrading your spacesuit, you know, your spacesuit, your pack, your um, O2 helmet. Oh, sorry, just a space helmet. Uh, the short answer is yes. It may take a bit of time, but it's definitely worth it. As you can see, this is just a rare one and I upgraded between ballistic shielding, explosive shielding, heavy shielding, gravitic, gravity composites. On my pack I have the extra capacity, emergency aid, skip capacity, boost pack. And then on my spacesuit I have the ballistic shielding, optimized servos, heavy shielding, and pocketed. So you might be wondering how do you get some of those mods? Well, short answer is you need to get into space with design i don't have the fourth one but i can pretty much craft everything that i can the fourth one is just gonna make it to where the occasion don't cost anything if you're gonna go into heavy crafting to maybe make some money or get some really nice space suit it's definitely worth it um we talk about weapon engineering in some other video but in order to get to it you need to have four points in a tier one so i definitely recommend getting research methods done because it's going to make your research twice uh sudden development doing research twice as common and is going to make it to where i required items to complete the research project is going to be reduced by 60 percent why is it important well in order to be able to craft those mods you need to research them and you search my research table this research lab then you go into equipment and then but for this one you see there's no required skills but for helmet mod 2 for example it requires space to design 2 for helmet mod 3 it's required 2 you know and for some it's different like for helmet mod 1 it didn't require any skill but for space suit mod 1 it required rank 1 and space suit design same thing for uh, space suit mod 2 required second rank and for third space suit mod it required space suit uh, design 3 fortunately for uh as you can see for pack mods for one you need space of design one for two you need two well for three you not only need space of design you also need space of project rank one and on the bottom it tells you what required materials you need to have in order to uh research it so if i give all those uh materials resources when i have the special project rank one it could fill out my uh, zero g gimbal or my mono propellant without me actually having to put it any of the materials in it so it's definitely worth picking that uh research rank four but some mods for uh your spacesuit are better than the others and it also depends your place now so let's look into them for slot one on your spacesuit you have ballistic shielding em shielding or increased energy resistance I went with basic uh, ballistic shielding because it gave me 12 more physical. If I went with the EM, give me 12 more EM shielding. Same with energy, but for 12 energy. For slide 2, you have Nomad, your explosive shielding, or reduce oxygen for sprinting. I picked reduce oxygen for sprinting personally just because I want to move faster. And on the right side, on the bottom right, you see it's require, require research space to mod 3. So in order to get this one, I have to have the spacesuit mod 3. But for uh, explosive shielding, I need the second mod. But for ballistic shielding, you don't need anything. But for EM or energy shielding, you need a spacesuit mod 1. For uh, your slot 3, you have exo servers, which increase your melee damage. So if you're a melee character, that might be worth it. Versus heavy shielding, which gave me, you can see, 12 more shielding on everything. On physical, energy, and EM. So I went with that, but it required mod 3, unlike the melee damage. For slot 4, you have no mod, which is where everybody starts. You can get reduced detection from enemies at the uh, space of mod 3. So if you're going for more uh, stealthy playstyle, gravitic, uh, gravitic composites is definitely worth it. I pick pocketed, it's because increased capacity. I'm more of a order sometimes. Let's look at uh, our pack. Slot 1, you had Nomad, Oxygen Reserve for 10 more capacity, you had Hazard Protection which requires rank 3, which increased my resistance to airborne, airborne, thermal, corrosive and radiation hazards by 5, which is pretty nice. 
but I want for extra capacity for 10 more kilograms. Again, I'm a holder and I cannot uh, do hazard protection. If I could, I'll definitely pick that one up. For slot two, you have Nomad Medic, which makes your uh, healing items heal you, you know, uh, more quickly and give you more health back. Emergency aid, again, when your health is low, it gives you, well, administers healing and recharge after a short use. But uh, once I can get to Mad 3 with that special project, I'll definitely pick this one. Regeneration. Slowly regenerates health outside of combat. That would be really good uh, for me specifically, maybe for a bunch of other people, because it's, again, free healing. Yes, it's slow, but it's nice, you know? Just a little bit more healing without needing to use those items, even though they're not super uh, scarce. For our boost pack, we have no boost pack, a basic one, which everybody can get. And by the way, you can see what you need to craft it on the top right. Um, you have the power, which requires rank three, but it increases your power output, a default having high gravity environments. Your uh, skip pack, you know, it's low duration, high intensity output. Sacrificing boost height from a building, which is what I want. Boost pack would be okay, but I'm honestly waiting more for maybe balanced boost pack or power. I'm not too sure which one I will go. But again, I need that special project. For a mod uh, or for our helmet mods, you have the basic shielding again, and you have your EM and energy shielding, which again, personally, you like ballistic or physical. For my uh, mod, you can go sensor ar array, increase the range for enemy detection on a compass. It's good, you know, stealthy, so you can see enemies a little more further. Uh, but I want explosive because reduces damage from explosives it's not bad i could go for enemy range detection but personally i like explosive shielding for slot three i went with only one increase shielding it gave me six more shielding across the board again really worth it and for four there's only one gravaticum uh composites i don't need it but it is nice to reduce detection from the enemies but it's all the mods, it's really easy to craft. Again, you can see the items need on the top right and the required search on the bottom right. And a lot of it is very easy. It's definitely worth uh, setting up like a little outpost, as you can see, with some research, you know, maybe industrial, but definitely research lab and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Spacesuit workbench and weapon workbench, but weapon workbench uh, stuff will be in another video. But like I said, research lab will help you not just with equipment, but with the weapons, outpost, food and drinks, and for, uh, pharmacology. Again, it's really worth it. You can get away without doing it, but if you want to give yourself a little bit of an edge, a little bit more uh, OP stuff, it's definitely worth it. But with that said, if you did enjoy this and want to see more guides, there's a few from previous videos. You can check it out. And with that, don't forget to stay awesome. I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.